A call to action tonight after the home invasion and sex assault of two elderly women over the weekend. It's so disturbing. It happened Sunday afternoon in Dearborn. Sean Lay joins us live with more on the investigation and what you can do to protect that senior in your life. Good evening, Damon. Good evening, Kim. Here's the deal. We have to protect our seniors. I've covered a number of these predatory attacks on seniors. They all have the same common denominator, and that is someone coming to the door, a predator, and offering help for work. One, about 10 years ago, was to rake leaves. Another one in Dearborn, that was a homicide. That was to mow a lawn. For the, twin, uh, to the sisters in Dearborn this past week, it was a knock at the door and the predator saying, alleged predator, that he wouldn't, wanted to fix the roof. That is the way in for these guys, and there is one thing now. We asked our experts what you should tell a senior that you love right now. Take a look. I can tell you that was random. It was an unconscionable attack on two sisters ages 78 and 85, police say, at the hands of 52-year-old Michael Holcomb. If you have a senior in your life, this part is very important. We are told Holcomb became aware of these two sisters when he was working recently on a home nearby. Sunday, he knocked on their door and told them that their roof needed repair. When they opened the door, he forced his way in. Holcomb is charged with sexually assaulting the sisters, assault to do great bodily harm, and more. Count six, and this is a count that we rarely charge, and again, we've been doing this for a very long time, torture, victim one. Count seven, torture, victim two. The tactic of targeting a senior by telling them they are there to do some work has happened many times before. So we're with our crime and safety expert, Darnell Blackburn. We have a question for him. If we have a senior in our life, a grandparent, how do we keep them safe? Tell them do not open the door for anybody that they don't know. Let them know that if they feel uncomfortable, it's so uncomfortable, they need to call the police right away. Call, and call, call family, call police. Call family, call police. Police will not mind if they call them. Especially if they're seniors and they're living alone. And they should state that when they call. I'm a senior citizen, I live them all. I don't know who this person is knocking on my door. So Sean, you can always call the police. I encourage residents if they think something seems out of place or they have concerns to contact the police. You know, that would, so I would agree with that. All right, back here live. So we'll get back to Michael Holcomb here, the person you just saw there in court. Now, charges against him were requested out of Allen Park. The chief tells me that they believe Holcomb attacked and brutalized a 13-year-old girl at a sleepover the same day the sisters were attacked. Also, the takeaway here, guys, is tell a senior that you know and love, don't open that door, call police. Police will not mind at all. If it's a false alarm, nothing, they will come and check it out. Let's keep our seniors safe. We're live tonight. Sean Lane, Local 4, back to you. Thanks for those tips, Sean.